When people think of the founder of Tesla, the name Elon Musk often comes to mind. However, Musk wasn't there from the very beginning. He was an early investor in the company and didn't become CEO until five years after its founding. In this video, I first share the life story of Tesla's founder and then reveal the story behind the company's founding, along with some hidden truths about Tesla. So, if you're curious about the CEO and founder of Tesla, stay tuned with me. Let's party! Rage. Martin Eberhard, an engineer, inventor, and entrepreneur, was born on May 15, 1960, in Kensington, California. He earned a bachelor's degree in computer engineering in 1982 and a master's degree in electrical engineering in 1984 from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. After completing his education, Martin held various professional roles, including including the electrical engineer at WYSE Technology Company Vice President of Electronic Division of Belfort Memory International, an electrical engineer and one of the founders at Network Computing Devices. Mark Tarpinning, born in the state of California, is a computer engineer. During a visit to Wise Technology, Mark met Martin Eberhard through a mutual friend at the company. This friendship resulted in the founding of Nuvo Media in 1998. Nuvo Media was one of the first companies to develop electronic books, introducing a product called the Rocketbook. In 2000, after achieving great success, the two decided to sell Nuvo Media for $187 million to the multimedia company Gemstar TV Guide International. Eberhard's passion for sports cars, combined with his concerns about oil imports and global warming, led him to consider electric vehicles as part of the solution. This decision ignited his interest in starting research on high-performance electric vehicles, which at the time did not exist. It was then that he painfully realized there was nothing available. The best thing he could find was a small company in Southern California that was essentially on the brink of bankruptcy. The company, named AC Propulsion, had built three electric vehicles using lead-acid batteries but was struggling to produce a sports car. Even more fascinating was that this company had an ultra-fast electric sports car called the T0. The electric car T0 proved to Eberhard that an electric car didn't have to be slow. The T0 lacked doors and a roof, and its design wasn't particularly appealing to consumers. It ran on lead-acid batteries, which Eberhard didn't like, especially the way they were installed in the car, as it was genuinely dangerous. This sparked the idea of using lithium-ion batteries instead. At that time, most people believe that electric vehicles using lithium-ion batteries would have limited range, but this car actually had a very reasonable range. By choosing the name Tesla for his company, Eberhard wanted to give credit to Nikola Tesla, who invented the AC induction motor. Finally, on July 1, 2003, the company was founded and Martin Eberhard, as the founder of Tesla and its first CEO moved into the company's first office building in Menlo Park, California, in August. By the fall of 2003, Eberhard and Tarpinning began refining their idea in an effort to present formal proposals to investors. Earlier, in 2001, Tarpinning had brought his friend Eberhard to see Elon Musk, the founder of PayPal, deliver a speech at the Mars Society Conference at Stanford. They introduced themselves but didn't reconnect until late March 2004. In 2004, Musk invested $7.5 million in Tesla and became the chairman of the board. In 2006, the company unveiled the prototype of the Tesla Roadster, which entered production in 2008. The Tesla Roadster introduced entirely new technology to the automotive industry, delivering an electric vehicle with specifications capable of meeting the needs of environmentally conscious drivers while appealing to automotive enthusiasts. On November 30, 2007, Tesla Motors issued a press release titled, 
Martin Eberhard, co-founder of Tesla Motors, transitions to advisory board. In an interview, Elon Musk stated that the decision was not due to ideological differences, but because he didn't see a role for Eberhard in the company. In 2008, Eberhard left Tesla Motors amidst a media drama as Elon Musk, the company's largest investor, took control of the company. On January 7, 2008, the New York Times reported that Tesla Motors had issued a statement explaining that Martin Eberhard, the co-founder and former executive, had been removed from the CEO position and operational management of the company. In May 2009, Martin Eberhard, the founder of Tesla, filed a 146-page lawsuit claiming that Elon Musk had defamed him. The core allegation was that Musk had falsely claimed to be a founder of Tesla Motors, effectively rewriting history. Eberhard publicly attacked Musk through the press and accused him of various leadership mistakes at Tesla in the lawsuit. Ultimately, they reached a settlement, the details of which were not disclosed by either party. However, a statement released by Tesla about the confidential agreement referred to both individuals as two of Tesla's founders. Tesla's story is still being written, but everything with the curiosity of engineer Martin Eberhard, the founder of Tesla started. Elon Musk with his Tesla company and his insatiable appetite and the development of electronics and aerospace technologies will definitely change the future of mankind in the future.